Hey, so I wanted to tell a story about the first time I ever skipped class. So, it was freshman year. Um, I was living, by the way, I'm from Nashville. I live in Nashville. I was going to a school called Glencliff High School, which was like the funnest school ever. But anyways, um, yeah, so... There was this kid that I didn't know him very well, but um, I think we had gym together or something. And I don't know, like I had only talked to him for like two days, but um, one gym class, uh, we, we hid under, um, we went to go talk. He was like, why don't you come hang out with me in this other place where there's, like nobody will bother us and stuff so we can talk. So we went to this room somewhere. I don't know how we slipped away and the teacher didn't notice. But yeah, we were in there and then, I don't know, he was kind of mischievous and stuff. I didn't know. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to have fun. But um, yeah, he was like, let me show you something. This is called tagging, so he was like, just leave a signature somewhere, just make it look cool and stuff. And I wanted to be cool, and I like doing art anyways, and it made me feel like a badass, so I tagged up with him. And then he was like, alright, well, when we started talking, he was like, you don't really want to be here, like, but I know I know how to get out of here at lunchtime. Um, he was like, are you serious? What if we get caught? He was like, no. Uh, you know how it is here, because the teachers there, like, it was, it's a crazy school, kids did whatever they wanted, like, they didn't really care that much, it was fun, um, just as long as you showed up in the morning time, that's all that mattered, like, as long as they got your attendance for the morning time, and I didn't know that, but I trusted him, I was like, all right, let's do this, because, um, and he was like, do you smoke, and I was like, yeah, because this is after I already started smoking. I was 14 at the time. Yeah. It was the first month of freshman year. So. Lunchtime come around. Uh, I found. And we met up. And we. We uh, we didn't even bother getting food. He was like. Come on. I gotta. Uh, come with me. While it's all busy and stuff. And nobody can pay attention. It's, do it at the beginning. When everybody's getting their food. And everybody's running around and stuff. So. We went, yeah, we snuck out the door, out the side door, and got away quickly. Nobody even noticed, no one at all. And we went to the side of the school, and he was like, yeah, we're going to go to my friend's house, smoke a joint, um, and I'll walk you back to where you remember where you are, uh, and then I got to go home. And I, I didn't even think about it at the time. I didn't even think about how far we were going. And how much time I would have. But, um, yeah, so we went a pretty good distance. Like, about two-mile walk to this dude's house. We got there. Um, he didn't end up having any weed. So my friend was like, well, I'm trying to smoke. So we went. Um, he was like, I got another friend, like, two streets down. And so we went to this person's house. And at this point, I had no idea where I was. But we got there, and I took a big bong rip, and then immediately puked. Like, I, I, I just couldn't take it. And, um, yeah, so the dude was like, oh, no, he was worried. He was like, I think, uh, I could, I don't know, he was kind of sketched out, because he was 18, I was 14, and my friend was 15, the one that took me there. But, yeah, um, I could tell he was kind of sketched out, but he got, my, he asked me for my number and stuff. I was like, wow, this guy's pretty cool he's got some weed he was older and stuff I was thinking maybe hopefully I would see him again but um anyways yeah so my friend was like all right well I gotta go home uh Will tell her how to get home because the dude's name was Will and my friend's name was uh oh yeah anyways yeah so my friend left and at this point I was stoned out of my mind like I was really confused but I was just, I just felt slow. I had just gotten sick. All I was thinking about was I was trying to get this guy's number. And then I looked at the clock. And I only had like 
25 minutes to get home. And at this point, I didn't know how to walk fast and stuff because I never really walked long distances. I would just take short walks on the same street that I lived on. So this was the first time that I was like far away from my house. And I didn't even think about getting caught. I was just like, yeah, no, I was thinking about, oh my gosh, am I going to have time to make it home? Because I was thinking, I didn't figure I would get lost. I figured, no, I was, I was tripping about, about getting lost about to do it. Cause I was just really stoned and confused. And I'm not good with directions at that time, but he told me how to get home. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was really simple, but at the time I was really confused. So I left right away, man. I walked, walked as fast as I could and it felt like forever, man. I was sure by the time I got to the end of the street to where, before I got to the street where I knew where I was at, I never thought that I would make it there. I was like, this is taking forever. Is he right? I hope he's right. I hope that this is the right way home. But anyways, I finally got there and... When I, when I figured out where I was, man, I booked it. I ran as fast as I could home. And thank God I made it home on time before uh, my, uh, my my granny got off work. She had no idea. The school didn't have no idea I even skipped. They didn't even notice because it was the f- first month of school. They didn't really pay attention anyways. They had my attendance for the morning, so... Boom, this opened a whole journey of skipping school quite frequently. I wonder what I missed.